I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, and we're going to do a little bit of a pack explosion. We just got back from a three-day uh, backpacking trip in the Dolly Sods in West Virginia. Uh, we left on Black Friday and just got home yesterday, Sunday afternoon. Uh, fantastic trip. There'll be a video for that very soon. Um, but with uh, winter being sort of like newer territory for me, and I know like it can be a little bit intimidating, I figured I'd share what I carried on the trip. Because I, I feel like I'm finally getting my winter system dialed down to where I want it. I still carry a few extra things here and there that I probably don't need to carry, but I'd rather carry something a little extra instead of bailing out on my trip because I wasn't fully prepared. So let's get right into it. Uh, I carried my Osprey Exos, my 58 liter. It currently has its uh, rain cover on it. Well, this rain cover is from a different pack, but it has a rain cover. Let's get that thing out of here. Um, so Dolly Sods, for anyone that's not familiar, is known to have wildly changing weather. You're just never quite sure what you're gonna get there. So we were prepared for rain, snow, ice, you name it, we were ready. At least we tried to be ready. So I'm gonna aim the camera down just a little bit so you guys can see here. All right, so starting on the front outer pocket. Now everything's not ideally packed because I just kind of threw everything in the pack the last morning because we it was it was a uh, like a sleet uh, freezing rain kind of mix and uh, we just wanted to get out and uh, the last day you're not so concerned about how things are going to be packed out so hanging on the front I have my hill sound micro spikes they were uh, secured to my little loop here by my fire beaner. It's a great little multi-tool uh, carabiner that you can use to light fires with. My tarp stakes. Uh, there we go. My tarp, tarp stakes. My tarp. I, uh, I hammock camp year round. So, oh, we're getting to some soggy stuff. Uh, this is just a miscellaneous dry bag that didn't exactly work out the best as a dry bag. Uh, we encountered a fire that needed to be put out, so that came in handy for that. Uh, my tree straps, one of them. Uh, another tree strap for hanging the hammock. My silky saw, and you can already see the dirt and wetness coming out of this. On my side pocket nearest to me, I have my Mora. Love this knife. Uh, I carry that year round. It's just uh, great to have. And for my easy access drinking while hiking, I have just a generic water bottle. This is a smart bottle, but uh, I, whatever water bottle is handy, I'll use. And then uh, I have my Hemlock Mountain Outdoors Dragon Snare. And I just knocked over the pack. Uh, I have uh, one of my Nalgene's. This is just a, a 32 ounce Nalgene. On the other side, I have my other Nalgene that still has some water in it. I have my Vecto dirty water bag. This is what I use to collect my water before I filter it. And then this guy, I tie around one of my side straps, but this is just my uh, general water kit. I keep my dirty bladder in here. There's a backup bladder. Uh, 
I have a uh, water scoop in here if I need to scoop water from a uh, really shallow water source. Strapped on top of the brain of my back, uh, my pack was my camp stool. Now, while hiking, I usually will keep all my rain gear or uh, like extra gloves or something, things that I need easy access to because I can actually reach this uh, while my pack is being warm. So, uh, just uh, the kind uh, full winter gloves, uh, highly, highly water resistant. They will eventually seep through, but it takes an awful lot for this pair. Uh, I use these for snowboarding, but they work really well in a situation like this. What got away from me was a package of Hot Hands foot warmers. I had used the last morning. Uh, they go in my uh, my my thin gloves. It was hunting down there, so took a hunting vest. Uh, let's see, one of my things to combat sleeping in the cold. I have bad circulation in my feet. Uh, it doesn't matter if I sleep in a hammock or a tent; I still get affected by it. But these little neoprene sleeves, they cover like just the front part of your foot. So they cover all your toes. They are really nice at keeping your feet warm. Uh, these are dirty. <laughs> these are my Solomon gaiters. These are just a short gaiter that goes around the top part of my boot. Uh, See what else we got here. I have my anchor battery back uh, battery pack. Uh, extra pair of hot hands. That'll do it for the outside of the brain. The inside. I have my uh, spot messenger device stashed. Uh, let's see, we have, this is my Hemlock Mountain Outdoors, uh, it's just a little ditty pouch, uh, zips across the top. I use this for all of my first aid. And, uh, yeah, first aid and uh, just general stuff. Uh, sometimes I'll keep like an extra lighter in there. So going into the main part of the pack, actually before we do that, On the front of the pack, I have my hand sanitizer, and I carry this front pouch. Now, the front pouch is really nice for uh, just anything quick to grab, like snacks, which is typically what I carry in here. So I still have uh, some fig bars, two spare batteries for my GoPro, wrapper, a, uh, this is a uh, tripod mount for a phone that uh, broke on Skinny G Panda, and I have a spare uh, dry bag. This is meant for protecting my phone and my battery charger because that front pouch is not waterproof. All right, that does it for all the external compartments of the pack. I uh, use a little piece of Reflectix as my sit pad. And it also is nice for in the hammock. If you get a cold spot, you can like slide it under your feet or whatever. Um, I took a bunch of extra hot hands and that wasn't just for me. That was just in case anyone would need it. We do have a uh, newer backpacker in our group and the last two trips were, were the first time uh, for them being in cold weather, so I wanted to just, uh, you know, just kind of watch out for everyone else as well. This is my possibles pouch from Wood Pigeon, uh, Wood Pigeon Outdoors. This is my fire kit. 
that's what I use that for. It doesn't matter if it's summer or winter, that goes with me. Uh, plastic bag from the Hot Hands. This is my DIY cook pouch. Uh, my uh, pocket towel. Let's see, it's on the. Uh, I want to do some of this compression. Alright, in here is my hammock. I have a, uh, a Hemlock Mountain Outdoors Coyote Custom. Uh, I purchased this earlier this year. Fantastic hammock. It has replaced my war bonnet. Um, but I have it paired with a uh, Dutchware gear winter sock, which the two of them combined, very comfortable night's sleep. All right, so for protecting my quilts, I have a compactor bag here, and the first quilt I'm pulling out is my Underground Quilts Bandit. It's a uh, zero degree top quilt, and I love that thing. I, I'm like sold on that company for top quilts. I don't think uh, I don't think I'll go to another company after them. And then for my under quilt, I have a Hammock Gear Econ Zero Degree Incubator, uh, and this is only my second trip with this quilt, and it has performed really well so far. Uh, my winter trips this year have been so far much better than last year as far as uh, overall warmth and everything uh, to also go with sleeping I have a pair of wigwam socks these are fantastic uh, I have my Sierra designs uh, this is a this is a synthetic pillow with a uh, down uh, sleeve over it not the biggest fan of this pillow normally, but it's really great in winter. Uh, we have my just cheap old down jacket. It's like a 32 degrees or something like that. The doors for my tarp. Did not need them this trip, but I like to carry them just in case. See, I have uh, a, what is this? This is an outdoor research uh, baklava for sleeping. Let's see, there's one of them. <laughs> I have, oh, there we go, a uh, pair of extra socks. And this is something I haven't used. But uh, uh, Skinny G found these. They're uh, insoles for your shoes that have like a, like a reflective material to them. And they're just meant to be like a thermal barrier. Uh, primarily for our purposes when you're sitting around camp. If you're, you know, your feet are in contact with the ground and all that cold starts seeping up through. I haven't had to use these yet. She has used her pair and she said they are fantastic. Um, and that does it for what was in my pack. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this gear, uh, feel free to ask. If you want to see any more detail, uh, just let me know. Now, really quick, as far as the little gaiters I was wearing, I got these new Solomon boots for winter hiking to replace my old ones. These are fantastic, but there's something with the way these laces are and the way the hooks are on the side of the shoe that I've almost tripped myself a couple times with them. But those little gaiters, they wrap around the top and they keep all the laces in place and that reduces the trip hazard. So that's the purpose for those. Uh, I'm currently using it to film, but I take my GoPro with me and I use a little Ultrapod this isn't the smallest ultra pod they make. It's the size, uh, it's a, a size step up, but I really like this. It, uh, 
it, it has a good, uh, nice little tripod to it, uh, like a firm footprint. Uh, while hiking, I have my uh, fleece lined neck gaiter. I have my beanie. And I have these outdoor research. Uh, just they're like a, meant to be like a glove liner. I still have hot hands in them. <laughs> uh, the, these gloves are a new purchase for this year as well. And so far they're doing fantastic for me. Uh, they're a really nice liner. They're real, you know, they're not like super heavy and they're just like your standard old fleece liner. But they have these zippered pockets on them and they came with rain covers. So these two paired together were great for my days of hiking. I didn't need anything else. I didn't have to use the heavier gloves. Uh, I'm not sure where the other one is right now, but uh, also it was in the pack until the last day was uh, these are long outdoor research gaiters. Uh, I pair these with my rain pants, which are right here. So these are my outdoor, or no, these are North Face. Not sure what they are. I just recently purchased these right before the trip. Uh, there's the other gaiter. And last but not least would be uh, my headlamp. Definitely, definitely need that. Well, makes things a lot easier. But yeah, that was, oh, no, I did forget something. My food bag. I uh, have started using an Ursac this year and this has been my go-to food storage method. So in here is my cookware, my stove, oh, uh, extra food. I always take a little bit extra food on a trip. Just, you never know. But yeah, now that's officially the last thing. Yeah, the last thing that was in there. Um, yeah, any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And uh, anyone that's looking at winter gear, a uh, little nervous about winter camping, maybe this uh, will give you some ideas.